Magazine article getting loads of attention on Yahoo this morning. It has to do with the safety of your cell phone. At issue here is the cell phone industry doing the right testing when they test these phones to make sure they're safe. Right now, FCC regulations do not require cell phone companies to test for radiation exposure for the phone in a situation where it's held flush against the body. They're assuming that you're not holding it flush against the body. It seems odd, considering most men, many women, carry their phones in a shirt or a pant pocket. On top of this, the article points out standard safety warnings in cell phone manuals. They exist. Do you actually read them? No. Many tell users to carry the phone anywhere from a half inch to an inch away from your body. So we want to know now at 9, where do you carry your phone? Because I've got so many phones oh, and the know. iPad, and I've got one in my pocket and yeah. one in my Bottom pocket. Bottom line, we don't know the long-term effects of radiation. We, we no, the Environmental Working Group put out a study last year, I did a story on it, that ranked um, cell phones by the amount of radiation they put out. Mm -hmm. So you can actually look up your cell phone and see the amount of radiation it puts out. But again, I, I, just to be on the safe side, I don't think you want to have it on your body. And then uh, along that line, Use a Bluetooth or a headset just to be safe. But those things are so obnoxious to you me. You look now. like a cyborg. They woman. are. You, yeah, yeah, you do I, look funny. I, I but try, I'd be safe but it's you know sorry. it's annoying and it's all over the place. It gets caught in my hair. And Cyber then, Amber. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I but think do you want to risk a potential brain tumor? <laughs> but I think that that's probably giving us a brain tumor as well. I think all of this 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 modern age technology over time we're going to find out it all kind of is emitting something that we shouldn't be of having in our right. body. Yeah. I, and I just think it's just going to be one test after after another test, after another test, as technology gets better and smaller or right. whatever, it's yeah. going to be worse And for most us. of them are inconclusive. They're like, this could happen, right. maybe Listen, not. We know and then another some... study will come out saying, this could happen, maybe not. We know there's some yeah. sort of danger. I mean, it's no secret that there's probably a good possibility that these things cause some sort of danger to our head or, or whatever. But I'm going to tell you, it doesn't matter how many warning labels they put on the cell phone boxes, people are going to continue to use the phones. Right. They don't care. I mean, we like convenience. We like having accessibility, yeah. our, our email, our text messaging. And uh, hopefully we don't end up paying for it with our health in the long hopefully, run. Hopefully, but I don't think hope. people would change even if they knew that yeah, there were conclusive uh, effects. Let's well, read what's going on on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Herman Bracado says, I always carry my phone in my pocket. It's safer that way. I would lose my phone if I carried it in a holster. And with the prices of smartphones these days, I can't afford to lose mine. Also on Facebook, Flo Ann Cram says, so this must mean... I should stop tucking my cell phone into my bra. Amber, <gasps> are you Amber, are you guilty of this? <laughs> this is actually Amber's pseudonym on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, not that uncommon. I see women yeah. doing it all the time. I was at a store yesterday. I saw a woman right. with the cell phone tucked. Okay, well, maybe Cheryl Tilly would change all of your minds on this. Cheryl Tilly on Facebook says, I used to carry my phone in my bra until I got breast cancer. Wow. Oh. They removed a very large strawberry-sized lump from, the, from that right breast where the phone sat. Now I put it in my purse if I miss a call oh well wow, wow. I mean, you, obviously we don't know if they were tied right. together we but don't right. but, but cheryl is is kind of alluding to the fact that maybe yeah. maybe yeah. again it's scary and it is a possibility right. so right. again just be safe. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Yeah, yeah. I take it in line. there all the time because a lot of like women's work attire doesn't have pockets, yeah. and I'll just grab it, shove it down, <laughs> do my errands. You know, and those phones are pretty big. I want to know how you get away with that. Well, I'm really it's happy. It's not the old '80s style sitting in Zach there. Morris you have the nice antenna phone. hanging out at your chin. She's a little more, a little more advanced than that. I am so glad that I have pockets. Speaking